Hey YouTube, uh, I want to do this video on a scratch test that I did on some laminate, some engineered wood and solid wood flooring. reason I did this test is because I was thinking about replacing out a, a laminate flooring that I put down about a year ago. Um, this is older laminate. I bought it some eight years ago, had it sitting around and I uh, laid it down like I said. It's held up fairly well but I just thought it looked kind of fake. And so I wanted to see what else is out there. And given that I'm renting this uh, duplex that I have out, I'm thinking the laminate is probably more durable. And after this test that I conducted, I'm, I'm convinced that laminate is more durable. And especially if I'm gonna uh, have a tenant in it, I really don't wanna put down an expensive product. This is the, uh, these are rather the, uh, Items that I used to conduct this test, the flathead screwdriver, just scraping on it, uh, wood screw, uh, sheet metal screws, some coins with edging on them, and I poked it, poked them all with a knife. And this is a product that I, this is a la uh, engineer product that I had actually bought already because I, I got it at a great price. It's normally four forty a square foot, and I bought it for a buck fifty nine a square foot. You can see the thick bamboo slab that's on top of this i can sand and refinish this at least twice the whole floor so it, it really was a great buy at a buck 59 and i think i'm going to use this uh, when i sell the house not for a tenant uh, i'm just going to keep this laminate floor but i'm going to go through these very quickly with you or try to this is the flooring that you're seeing that's that's down and through all the scratching and poking and abuse they all did um different uh in terms of their durability but I'll tell you just from the outset that what I have down right now was 50 cents a square foot when I bought it and uh, it did as good as any of the other ones with the exception of one which is the cheapest one that I could find at Home Depot actually but this is what mine does with all the scratch test and the poke test which isn't bad but I have three boxes of this stuff left over so I can easily pull apart and replace planks out. And that's what you have to do with laminate as opposed to engineered wood or um, solid wood. So anyhow, let me go through these in, in order for you. These are all engineered products. Uh, this is, uh, and these are all from Home Depot, the samples. Heritage Mill is the manufacturer, lifetime warranty, didn't do very well. But again, with any engineered product, you're able to sand and refinish, according to the manufacturer, one time, the whole floor. But what I showed you before with the slab of, of bamboo that I have, look at the difference between this thin layer of wood that you have on top. It makes a big difference in, in cost and why I think these are, I don't know the exact prices of any of these, but they range from, I think, um, buck 60 for this uh, laminate to the high end of five something or six something for a solid these uh, engineered products uh, range from i think 260 270 from the low to four um four dollars plus up to maybe five you know that didn't do very well Color has to uh, something to do with it as well, so take that in consideration as to the type of abuse that you're going to see. This didn't do well at all. It's another Heritage Mill Lifetime. This is a darker wood, engineered product, uh, home decor home something home uh, decorations I think that's the man those are the manufacturers but uh, they could be home brands of uh, Home Depot didn't do too well but again uh, just restating with engineered wood you can uh, you can uh, stain it and sand it at least once you can see that's the layer of wood on this on this product here that's right on top Another home decorations, lifetime. It's a hand scraped strand woven. It doesn't do well on the on the scratch test. Uh, so you gotta definitely take that into consideration. This one didn't do at all what I 
as well as I thought it would. This is a uh, engineered uh, Milstead product, 30 year warranty. I gouged it up. And essentially, like I said, you can only go down as far as that uh, thin layer of wood. So definitely take that into consideration when you're picking up the uh, engineered product. I'll show you again the slab of bamboo that I have on on mine. You know, that's a uh, definite consideration. Here's a solid block of uh, wood flooring. You cannot put uh, solid wood on concrete uh, because of the moisture issue that you're going to have with, with the concrete and creeping up into the wood and the uh, cupping effect or cracking that you're going to ultimately get with uh, putting down a solid plank like this is three quarter inch thick. And so that's why they have engineered wood because it's natural wood and it can go down on concrete. But you, you just use a uh, pad underneath it as a moisture barrier and the crisscrossing of the underside of, of this uh, engineered product is what gives it the strength to be allowed to be put on concrete. Anyways, this is uh, not doing very well as far as a natural wood. You can see how much scratching and so forth, but this can be refinished multiple times, the whole floor. It's the benefit of a three quarter inch real wood. These are all laminate. We'll go through these real quick. This is a product that uh, I thought held up the best. It was the cheapest. It's a Traffic Master 15 year warranty. This is the result of five actual tests of doing this all over again to this one sample. I was so impressed with how well it did after the first, second, and third. I thought I'd keep doing it until I actually got some good uh, gouges and scratches. And that's the result after five tests. All these others were the result of one go through. So I was very impressed with that. Again, the lightness of that has to do with uh, how little you can see a lot of these scratches. So yeah, keep that in mind. Again, a laminate's going to be more resistant to uh, scuffs, abrasions, and scratches. Not so much the poking with the knife, as you can see, nothing held up as far as any of these products. But the, the uh, scratching, it's a very tough product, whatever is on top of that. Uh, but again, planks are what you're going to need to uh, have on hand to replace out. This particular product, uh, oh, I didn't show you the, the back of this. home decorations so I did okay this one didn't do well at all I thought it's a darker wood uh, home legend 30 year this one I think I showed you uh, maybe not it's a pergo product extreme performance lifetime did pretty well and the new ones now are 12, mil, 12 millimeter thick, whereas the old, like what I have, you can see the difference in that. And that pergo that I just showed you. A big difference in the thickness, seven mil to, uh, to five mil. Another pergo. Did pretty well. Last one up is a product I got at a uh, flooring shop. I like the finish. It was a hand scraped uh, laminate, which is pretty cool. I mean, see those gouges there? That's actually part of the natural flooring. The scratches that you see on, on the top surface and the holes poked in or from the knife. That's from my test. This did, again, really well. But again, you're, not, you're never going to be able to sand that out or refinish it. It's just going to be... Uh, replaced out but that uh, is not too bad so ultimately if you're going to use a laminate have some uh, extras at least a half a box if not a box if you're going to go with the engineered product uh, just give it the test that you think your traffic is going to uh, is going to be at your particular application and uh, choose a color that you think will mask a lot of the scratches because while you can sand it and refinish it, unless you're going to be doing that yourself, it's uh, more costly than, 
than you probably think. So give that some consideration. The cheapest is going to be uh, laminate, obviously. The hard solid wood is is not going to be applicable for a concrete application, only a wood sub subfloor for this. Uh, so hope this was helpful. Um, the cost between the engineered products and the laminates, they've gotten closer. So that is to say that laminates, I think, are uh, are starting at about buck sixty square foot, but they, a lot of them are two dollars a square foot, and these start out at about two forty. The engineered products, so they're not too far apart just a matter if you're going to lay it yourself or have somebody do it so that's a big consideration and again the uh, repair so hopefully this was helpful hopefully you got something out of it until next time